power and thermal figures for another Intel 10th Gen Core i9 Comet Lake S desktop CPU has leaked out. This time we're looking at the Core i9-10900F, a 10-core processor which has an official TDP of 65 watts. But as we're aware by now, those TDPs are derived from the base frequency and not the actual figures, which are a completely different story. The latest figures are posted up by Twitter user 9550Pro and originally come from a Weibo user Wallstame. Now the results are specific to the Core i9-10900F, which is similar to the Core i9-10900, with the only difference being the disabled integrated graphics. So the Core i9-10900F is based on the 14 nanometer process, which features 10 cores and 20 threads. The chip has a base frequency of 2.8 gigahertz and a boost frequency up to 5.2 gigahertz on a single core and 4.6 gigahertz, all cores. So the chip will carry 20 megabytes of cache and feature again a TDP of 65 watts. Now the 65 watt TDP measure is derived from the base frequency, also known as PL1, when the actual TDP, which PL2, is much higher. In the case of the Core i9-10900F, the maximum PL1 power limit is actually 170 watts and the PL2 limit is actually 224 watts. Now this is more than three times the power consumption of its official TDP. Just for comparison, the Intel Core i9-9900KS with eight cores and a five gigahertz frequency did 170 watts at maximum load, while the AMD Ryzen 9 3950X with 16 cores does 146 watts at full load. Intel seemed to have dropped the efficiency bar on its 10th gen lineup and simply went for brute force. But even doing so, well, that has its own issues. The temperatures are also reported by the same user and the Intel Core i9-10900F seems to be quite the hot chip, bringing in a 93 degrees Celsius at full load while staying around 70 to 75 C on average with a 240 millimeter AIO cooler. With the 170 watt FPU test, the processor reported temperatures of up to 83C with a 120 millimeter AIO cooler. High end air cooler only managed to sustain about 80 degrees Celsius temps. Since thermal velocity boost only kicks in if the temperatures are 65C or below, you can forget this chip hitting its maximum all core frequency at full load. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.